technology or information still inside. There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with us anymore. We've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in Beacon Protocol is recorded as... Record deleted. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the Beacon for almost 9 years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Shouldn't eat local flora. Probably had no choice. Inevitable after that long. Thank you. 
luxury of do 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 process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Ca Ca Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him. But I don't know. someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader, and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... They were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! They've seen him. Ah! Do the trick. Have a great trip! Making contact! Father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost it. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Clearly docile. Same uniform remnants as those who attacked, however. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? It makes males get violent. Previous females said hunters were exiled, behavioral, or gender-driven. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... Decay. 
You are cursed with his face! You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. familiar with a protocol that condones crew suppression via lethal force. Well, that would make them hate him. But maybe it was just for defense. Please, he... You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women assign them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week, about a month after the beacon was repaired. It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man.
really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. Old dead left posed, positioned. Possibly a warning. Recent corpses left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Incoming! <laughs> Enjoy. Careful, so they ought to meet in my defenses after the crew turn violent. They keep attacking. No choice. We have plenty of choice. We're late to blame the victims. That is fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Thing is not my father.
do the trick. Father in the eye and hear him justify this. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got...
tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. We can help these people. Servers can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his max. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. Untrue. Intention's easy to predict, just don't care. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! Give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard? Jacob? You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. 
Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. I commend her. Shepard, thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? Like I said, if we don't upgrade the hull on this boat, people will die. I have some Lion's favors I can call in if you have the resources. Let me know when you want that, Commander. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well-adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with them. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Um, the stuff with Jacob's dad, it's bullshit, right? Because it looked like bullshit to me. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship. The elusive man's personal attention. What, you disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... Well, look at you. A colony kid growing up in a prefab unit. Losing even that when the Batarian slavers arrived. And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're... you're the best humanity has to offer. Does it always have to come back to your father's genetic tailoring? 
This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. You're not coasting on good genes, Miranda. Your ability and your dedication speak for themselves. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate that. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by. <laughs>